Good day, YouTube. It's the 29th of November, 2020. We are uh, embarking on episode two of this crank up speaker tower build. This would be my second speaker tower. I already built one right there. It works excellent. It's very large, very heavy. We're building one that's going to be a little bit lighter um, to tow behind a uh, mystery machine. Um, this is the tower. That is a crank up light tower. And this is a trailer that was either a light tower or a generator or an arrow board or something. Um, I bought them separately, slightly different times. We are going to uh, put that light tower on this trailer, um, and that is the plan. Um, we might have to extend the length of the trailer. We might have to move the axle back. We might have to do lots of things. Um, but I actually got the tower for free, and I only paid 200 bucks for the trailer. So in contrast... When I built that trailer, all that it was all new, but uh, just the kit for the you know, wheels, hubs, axles, hitch, lights, that kind of stuff, that was an $800 kit, and plus two or three hundred bucks with a steel, plus you know a couple weekends to build the trailer. So um, I'm uh, spending a lot less money <laughs> to build, hopefully, a much smaller unit. There are occasions when. Uh, I could have an event big enough to need two of these trailers because I broadcast my signal. Um, obviously, we're going to mount speakers on this thing, you know, and it's going to go in the air where we can hear it. Um, but to transport it, this tower has to lay down, and this is the fulcrum point right there. And it's going to uh, be controlled by this winch. So this winch is going to come in through an opening there, go around a pulley, and then go around another pulley on this white bracket which holds the tower and then back where it is secured to this uh, upright. So, I've done some work. I've got actually a pulley that's hanging right there on the bottom. You can see it back there. It'll actually be horizontal, not vertical. <clears throat> We've now cut a hole with the plasma cutter through the tower piece. You can see the pulley. And this morning, I built this. I actually did a separate video, I'll put it separately, where I made a wooden pattern and cut these out with a plasma cutter. Ground them smooth, and this assembly um, is all put together, and it's going to weld right there, okay, for the cable to come through, okay? So, I'm going to, uh, I just got the plasma cutter out and it is also a DC arc welder. So I've, I've just been using it to uh, tack weld um, all this stuff together rather than have two welders out here because every time it rains I got to put stuff in. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use the DC arc welder and tack those pieces on the back. And then we'll clean up the tongue after I check the geometry of the cable and make sure that's a good position for the winch. And we'll tack weld the winch on. The whole idea is then to be able to string the cable um, and make sure everything's going to work properly. A uh, couple things. I've had to space this out from this bracket because there is this spring. Um, that goes on the back of this bracket and does this um, and I believe it helps to get the tower to lay back down again when the tension is released from the cable so I had to leave some room back there for that so that's why this is kind of spaced out might not be perfectly spaced I just got a piece of metal jammed in there um, to hold that out for the moment but um, eventually I'll have to build off of here down to here where there's a hole to run another pin through that'll uh, keep that thing standing upright so that'll have to be a fairly substantial uh, component but uh, it should work out pretty good <clears throat> so let me uh, get this thing stuck on there and uh, get it tack welded um, good enough to hold it for now when we're this thing is all done. I'm just kind of tacking things. I don't want to weld anything too crazy in case my design needs to change. I don't have a 
you know, I'll have this thing just super welded down. It, I can change it. I could grind some welds loose and take it apart, fix or change what I need to and put it back together. So I think we're doing okay. I don't think I've got anything uh, glaring that I need to change, but there might be adjustments or something. So let me uh, get that welded there and I'll bring it back. All right, we've made a little progress today. Um, you see, I got the cables routed. I got the uh, bracket tack welded on. I drilled a hole above it and put that clevis through the loop of the cable. I cut the hook off of it. I don't need the hook. That way I could pass the cable through and just put that clevis on. And uh, I'm not... I'm not going to weld that winch to the tongue as I had earlier stated. Um, that's just going to suck if I have to replace the winch. It is just a you know 1995 at Harbor Freight kind of winch, um, and uh, you know it's going to sit out a little bit. And one of these days it's going to need replaced. So I really need to bolt it on so I can bolt on a new one. Um, I've made the cable easy enough to get out as well. Everything. We'll just unscrew so um, I don't have things attached well enough to crank that thing uh, all the way in safely um, had a little bit of concern in my design because I actually made these pulleys to line up center to center and then as I stand back here I realize the way the cables routed um, that they're not going to line up center to center. However, they are, they do pivot. So this one pivots there and this one will pivot back here. They're not fixed. So this one could come up a little bit. This one could come down a little bit. I think it'll be okay. Um, the way I have everything spaced. Um, what I need to think about doing is uh, bolting the winch down now and uh, further welding this piece and maybe throw a temporary brace or a strap or something um, so I don't pull that section down or bend my at the weld point or something so I think that's next so I think I'll mark some holes and that winch is in a good location I wanted to leave room on the front of the tongue for a tongue stand um, not unlike on any of these three trailers you know just something when you or park it uh, that you can jack the thing off the your vehicle and leave it parked. It'll still have four outriggers on it when it's said and done. And it might be a longer trailer when it's said and done. But uh, geometry wise, I think we're looking uh, pretty good. Um, I'll get the thing you know, tested out here uh, today or tomorrow and see if we're on the right track. But it looks good. I'm happy with my bracket. It was a little bit heavier build than it needed to be, but that's what I had. And the, my favorite steel salvage yard is closed. Today they probably gave themselves a well-deserved four-day weekend. So uh, I had what I had, and we had to move forward, so we did. Okay, gang. Uh, I'll continue to plug away a little bit and uh, bring you back. Well, gang, we've moved ahead to Saturday morning and uh, got the winch bolted down. Got some grade 8 bolts for it. We had to run for those yesterday afternoon. Kind of moved it sort of inside the shop a little bit so I could uh, turn my heater on and not be so cold. Um, so anyway, the uh, winch cable works pretty good. Uh, the alignment's pretty good. I'll show you its functionality and uh, next we'll have to work on a latching mechanism for the tower somewhere in there so I've been uh, thinking a bit about the how to build the latch there's a uh, larger hole. Let me pop you off the stand. A larger hole right there that I want to use with a big pin in it. 
probably just a couple of uh, stiff arms um, off of here. I'd like to use so just some quarter inch flat bar, but I don't have any. I've got some thinner, and I have some scrap, but just ain't long enough. And my steel place has taken a four day weekend, much deserved. So I don't have any way to get any this weekend. So it'll be a Monday thing. So uh, I think it's just gonna be real simple, you know, come out from the stand there and pin that. So it's time for me to start thinking this thing down the road a little bit. Um, I put that strap on there so that when I'm pulling on it um, with the winch, I'm not putting any stress because I only have this tack welded on both sides of this not finished welded. And I should put a uh, kicker on it, either forward or backward or something, probably backward, um, from you know, here down to the rear. So I can think about doing stuff like that, uh, fine tuning some stuff, um, getting a gusset in here, mostly for aesthetics, but why not? Um, building this thing and everybody I know is gonna see it, so I just will make it aesthetically okay I gotta get a better uh, clevis for that one a larger one one that sits flat when it looks better I'll get one of them today but uh, happy with the winch location it's very very easy to winch up I probably should uh, shorten up that cable uh, may or may not um, doesn't need to be a bunch of cable on it but we'll see what happens there may be a reason to have it there eventually so I want to get all this stuff done um, before I put the tower on it. I um, need to cut a uh, half moon out of that too so that when the uh, tower pole lays down, it lays down. The tower pole is going to be just above this pin. So I've got to have an inch or a half or so out of it in the, at the middle of it. All right. Um, I uh, kind of looked these tires over a little bit and they're weather checked and they're old. Um, I pulled that one off just to verify that's five on four and a half. And they're 14 inch, um, which oddly enough is exactly what I'm running on Scooby Van. These are 14 inch, five on four and a half. So, uh, what the heck, it'd take the same spare. Um, so, I uh, looked at a couple things on Marketplace. Uh, you know, not looking to spend a bunch of money on something that's going to get, you know, 100 miles a year on it. They're just going to weather out not to uh, wear out so um you know the trailer out there's got brand new tires on it but you know that'll never see anywhere because it doesn't really go anywhere locally and you know maybe a 80 mile round trip would be a long long uh trip for that thing so and all that's on the uh, scooby van is a uh, old studded snow tires that i pulled the studs on that i got for cheap and i mean cheap they're mismatch but they look the same um so i found some wheels off a of ford ranger i've got an email out hopefully go look at those today and uh we'll just clean them up we'll paint them red order up some chrome lug nuts for them they'll sort of match wish they were white walls but they're probably not and uh, we'll go from there so um let me uh fiddle around this would be kind of a scratch my head kind of day do some planning I'm not sure how much we'll get done but um, progress has been slow but uh, I'm happy with how everything's come out I haven't had to redo anything and that's a bonus go check back with you a little bit well gang we have zoomed ahead to the next week it's actually a Thursday uh, <clears throat> um, what I've decided is uh, at this point to extend the trailer two feet um, basically the uh, tower is going to overhang eight feet from here it's a four foot trailer so let's make the trailer six feet long and then we only have two feet hanging past the trailer pretty sure we'll end up moving the axle back uh, a foot or two as well we'll just have to see where the weight is um, if you're not familiar with trailers uh i used to tow trailers behind my motorcycle and actually did some rider education related to towing trailers and you always want 10 percent of the weight of the trailer on your tongue so we're gonna have to uh kind of calculate where the center of balance is 
which this has a, this tower has a crane hook on it here so this would be the center of balance okay so I can do some measurements based on this of course a tower would be fully retracted at that time so uh, you know some weights and measures and so forth that being center and how much uh, weight I'm gonna have uh, on the trailer and then I want about 10% of that on the tongue there about 8 to 12 somewhere in that so I think that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna end this video here we'll get on to some of these little details and stuff but uh, I went to the steel yard which was closed all four week uh, four days over the Thanksgiving weekend <clears throat> best I found was some four inch angle iron but it's a uh, long enough to um, go back two feet two feet four feet across mm, maybe I'll have to do some measuring I was hoping that was about seven feet long we'll see seven four five six seven hmm might come up a little short might have to do something else there wasn't much out there for steel I went out there again today because they get all kinds of stuff in every day um, and not much else to uh, pick from right now so um, I hate to go buy 20 foot of quarter inch four inch angle um, have to do what we have to do to uh, lengthen the trailer um, might have to change tactics there a little bit or cut off what's on it <clears throat> and then move it back and weld it back on it just might be the direction we go just take whatever's on the rear now and make it the new rear or make it the sides we'll figure that out when we get there but I think I'll start that operation tomorrow I'll kick the van out of the shop um, put it uh, over there with the truck under cover and uh, so I can have the lift and pick this up and work on it at a comfortable height so gang thanks for watching and appreciate your comments love to read them um, if you've not subscribed to the channel please do that and hit the bell notification button for future videos hit the thumbs up on the way out the door we'll catch you on the next video